on snook on the blue. Terrific pot, that's clearly Three. Murphy's. Don't know whether there's two reds behind the pink here. It's the one that's nearest to us that Sean's looking at. I wonder if that one goes. This could be a shot to nothing. Nearly. Now, has he covered this red? Nope. So, I'm sure Jing will be having a go at this red near the left corner. Well played. Well, he chose to play it dead weight for the black. Yes, it wriggled, but uh, he could have made sure of that and played with pace. But no, he wanted to be at this end of the table. And that's good queuing from distance. Especially at that pace. Now he's got every chance to win the frame from here. Eight. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, those three rays together will need some attention. I don't think 24. the one behind the black is a problem, really. Well, there was a few points behind. He's just gone favourite in this frame. 25. Could play the little cannon into them now. Leave himself on the right-hand red. I think he's thinking about that. He wants these open. Well done. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. When Sean made that century, that one, two, six in the second, Phil, you thought he might push on from there, but um, thirty-eight. Ding's been very resilient here, and a good chance to lead three-one at the interval. Murphy, no doubt, 39. thinking about that rather careless positional shot when he was amongst the Reds on thirty-nine. That lead now wiped out. Yeah, and again, I don't think it was necessary to play what he did. You know, I know he's trying to open up one or two, but if he was going to do that, then play it with a little bit more pace. But unfortunately for him, he saw the white stick on the reds. And that was end of break. But again, Dean's got his chance, and he's taken them very well. He did in the last frame. He's looking to do the same here. 46. Not a difficult ball on the table. And you could hear 47. the proverbial pin drop in the auditorium. It's a, a fabulous atmosphere out there. You can sense the tension. A major occasion, a semi-final. The prospect of a place in the final at stake.
And I think snooker is unique in being able to generate this uh, special atmosphere. Well, it's just the drama as well, you know, the way things unfold. Last evening when Mark Allen was trying to lay those snookers on Sean Murphy and got them, and then Sean was thinking, oh, just leave me alone, you know, and it's trying to get over the line in the end. And uh, you know, it, it is a fascination with the, sometimes with the slow burn. We'd like to see the centuries going in, but the tactical play as well. In 51. It's incredible how much drama we have had over the years. And also, again, for all the skill factor of these boys, how much lady luck plays its part. There's no lady luck about this break. This has been superb. And he's not far away from winning this frame either. 18 points in front, just a couple of reds left. 58. And that's all that Ding will require to take a healthy 3-1 advantage into the mid-session interval. Needs a good positional shot here, though, for the last red, which he has played. Doesn't want this straight, he wants a big bounce. That's perfect. Well played. Just drop this in. You always want to try and make these as easy as possible. All he has to do is drop this in for the black. That was played to perfection. Taking out a bit of insurance by getting our referee Paul Collier to polish the white. Last thing he wants is a kick right now. Sixty-four. Well, a twenty-five point lead, this black is frame ball. Hmm. Well, that's not too clever. He snookered himself. I was hoping to get much higher at the table. 71. Off the back cushion. Pretty easy to hit, though. 71. <laughs> Terrific 71, though. Murphy requiring two snookers, then. There's one of the snookers. He's trying to swerve around the brown, though. Ooh, didn't... Hang on, hang on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Coat of paint both ways. Four Murphy, four. Well, he had to get a lot of action into that cue ball, but... Still one snooker required, though. Touch hard. Well, Ding's got to be careful here, and he's got to keep this yellow safe, and if Sean has a chance of a pot, he could lay the snooker from green to brown. Well, if he can see it, that is. Great shot. Depends where this finishes. Doesn't want to nudge that white. Well, he's going to find himself in trouble after this one. Got stunning behind the green here. Too much. Well, Ding will be a little bit disappointed with that shot. He could have really got Sean in some trouble. He's still giving himself a chance here, that uh, we're giving Sean a chance to lay the snooker. He needs to slow down. Just gone too far. He was hoping to get the cue ball behind the black initially. I think Dean can just slightly swerve around the pink. Well, 
a possible chance coming behind the green. It's going the other way, I think. Again, not quite the snooker. You see that white tight to the cushion. 28 in the frame then, 27 on. It just depends whether Sean de decides to take this yellow on or leave it on the table. Doesn't want to pot too many colours because then it cuts down your odds for snookers. Uh, I wonder whether he's contemplating potting the yellow then trying to lay the snooker behind the brown from the green. Well, he did go for the pot. Well, as you saw on the caption there, if Ding does clinch this frame, he'll be halfway to his target. Six required to make the final. Yeah, good chance to do that here. And it's there as well. It's about to go 3-1 then. So... Things to think about then at that mid-session interval for the Englishman. Engine way two. Back to two snookers required. 30 points the difference and Murphy finds himself in a snooker. Yeah, a little fortunate there. Sean has to get this safe. Needs a big bounce on that green, and that's okay. Well, Sean's got an outside chance in this one, but really, you know, if Ding just keeps his discipline, he knows he's leading the. Uh, 3-1 at the mid-session interval. I'm just wondering, I think Sean's contemplating here potting green and brown, and then he could tie with one snook on the blue. Terrific pot, that's clearly Three. Murphy's line of thought I could just tell the way he was looking at the green there, I thought, fancied him to line it up to pot it, so uh, he is going for one snook on the blue then well you never know he could still force a respot which would be a little bit of a blow to Ding Shenhui Make all the difference of the mindset going into that uh, into that dressing room. Seven. Murphy will feel in his own mind he should have won this frame when he had the first shout and played that uh, rather careless positional shot we were talking about earlier. Could he still pinch it? Well, he's played a loose one there. But if Ding takes this on, he knows that he's got the cue ball flying around the table, which is exactly what he doesn't want. Just keep this blue away from the others. He might have a go at this, you never know. This is frame ball, really. Well done. Hang on. Yes, it is 3-1 now. That was a terrific pot in the end. Slightly loose safety there from Sean Murphy. So he's got a little bit to do in the second half then. Eleven. 
should have been two apiece. 18 on the frame, Sean Murphy has made the top break in that first mini session.